Andy Walker here at, from Butterscotch.com at CES 2011. Hey, we're here with Janice Mahan, who my old friend, and she's been she's I've been talking to you years and years about OLED technology. You know, I mean, we've been coming back, and, and every year you have something new. And this year, uh, OLED seems to be getting into lighting. Absolutely, OLED in lighting is the next wave. Um, we've been talking about displays. Displays are happening. And next thing is OLED lighting. We've right. Met a number of performance targets, so manufacturing capacity is going to start to happen. We're going to start to see OLED lighting in all kinds of interesting, interesting applications. So you know, look at some of these guys. So I mean, you have like you know the ability to do really interesting lighting design. Um, this uh, art piece using OLED technology to turn lights on and off and different colors and that sort of thing. I imagine that uh, you know uh, interior designers are going to have a lot of fun with this. Oh, they absolutely are. Matt. Well, look at the color here. Um, look at the form factor in this lighting panel. There are just some wonderful things you can do with it in, in an architectural setting. Right. You can we just pick it up and turn it around? Look how thin that is. That's just amazing. So you can imagine a furniture designer wanting to do all kinds of crazy things with this. Maybe even integrate it directly to a piece of furniture. We, oops, we talked about a bedside table potentially having both display and also lighting capabilities. Absolutely. Now, you know, we've always talked about the idea of, you know, you, know, you go to bed, you, you, you hit the light on your bedside table mm -hmm. and it lights the room or displays information, the weather, you know, video, who knows what it's going to show off, right? Absolutely. Or a beautiful you, the picture of your daughter or your, your daughter, son. That's right, exactly, because <laughs> it's going to be a full-on display. Absolutely. Now, in terms of like commercialization of the actual video panels, I uh, think you said LG now is now into that space now too, right? Mm -hmm. This is a 24-inch uh, or an 18-inch No, panel? this is a 15-inch diagonal. Channel. This was a test market piece from LGD. Right. Look how thin that is. Just amazing. The resolution and the uh, contrast ratio on this is absolutely stunning. Now, are they going to be shipping this sometime this year, you're hoping? Well, they have been shipping this, uh, but they're now bringing on new manufacturing capacity, principally to address the smartphone and portable market. Very good. A uh, number of companies, are including LGD, are talking about the next thing being TVs after, after mobile. Amazing. So what else you got up your sleeve in terms of OLED? Well, the next thing is flexible, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you think about the TV that can roll up, put it away, the light source. Think about your, your desk lamp at home. Yeah. Someday you may get rid of that very inefficient incandescent light bulb yeah. and plug in an OLED, but that, that OLED might be a really beautiful lampshade that's oh. glowing. Amazing mm. stuff. So very interesting things. So if you want to find out more information about what you guys are up to, where do we go? Universaldisplay.com. Universaldisplay.com. There you go, the latest in OLED from Universaldisplay.com. I'm Andy Walker at CES 2011.